Happy 2024! I have a new haircut, new hair, new me, new ear, new hair, new hair, new ear, new me, new hair. I don't know what I just said, but did you ever wonder who is sitting at the head of the table? Because I knew in my heart that there is one head of the table that is called The Rock. And last night we saw that The Rock is coming back and I was expecting The Rock to do what Rock always does. Absolutely nothing. Spill some beans, talk some trash, do some rock bottom, do some people's elbow, maybe, maybe, maybe say what The Rock is cooking, maybe say, it doesn't matter what you think, but at the end of his promo, at the end of everything that we have expected from The Rock, we have heard the following. Should The Rock sit at the booth? Should The Rock sit at the bar? Or should The Rock sit at the head of the table? And everyone lost it. Everyone lost it because everyone wanted this for years. Everyone wanted this for years. But why are we are not excited now? Actually, I'm, I, I cannot tell if everyone is not excited as I am. But to be fair with you, I'm not super excited about this. Because... New. Uh, actually, this is the wrong. Because if this announcement happened one year ago, two years ago, three years ago, next year, I would have been super excited. I would have lost it. I would have gone nuts. I would have screamed on the top of my lungs that this match is happening. But this year, it's just... If this match happens, one superstar is gonna eat it all. One superstar is gonna lose it all. One superstar is gonna turn out that he came back to WWE for nothing. And this superstar is Cody Rhodes. Maybe this star is Randy Orton. Maybe this star is AJ Styles, CM Punk. CM Punk is gonna have a feud with Seth, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with him, but I'm not excited because Cody needs to finish the story, right? But obviously he's not gonna finish the story if The Rock is having that WrestleMania moment with Roman. So what are we gonna do now? Are we gonna pull the trigger on Rock versus Roman? And we are gonna pull another ear of Roman retaining the title? Or we're gonna finish the story? What's gonna be? Or we're gonna have a triple threat match. Cody versus Rock versus Roman. But I feel like this triple threat situation is kind of risky. Because Rock is that kind of superstar that wants to go into a match and go wants to go out of the match injury free because he's busy all the time. He cannot afford the injuries. He cannot afford to sit at home and do nothing. And recover. I don't know what to say about all of this. I don't know what the takeoff is from The Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania 40. On the other hand, you're having WrestleMania 40. 40 years of WrestleManias. It's gotta be big. It's gotta be the biggest that we have ever seen. So I guess Roman versus Rock makes sense. And to be fair, The Rock doesn't have a lot of options. The Rock doesn't have even five years in front of him wrestling. I guess the chances of him wrestling each year, they're going down. I don't know, I, I kind of want to see what Roman will respond. This Friday, we're gonna have the triple threat match that I already talked about. That is gonna be AJ Styles, Randy Orton and LA Knight. And the winner of that match will be against Roman at the Royal Rumble. I want to see what will happen there. And I guess we're gonna see what the Roman will respond. We'll also see if The Rock will show up next week or the week after that. Or the weeks coming to WrestleMania to confirm that this match is happening. Who knows? everyone who knows i i just feel bad about cody rhodes i'm not gonna lie to you i i feel bad about cody rhodes because he 
came back almost two years ago to finish the story. Last year, he couldn't finish the story and I was fine with that. I was fine with that. Everyone was devastated. Everyone was like, oh my God, WWE fumbled it and all of that stuff. But I like that Roman retained I liked that they're giving constant twists to that story for Cody. And I guess The Rock is another twist in that story. I guess The Rock is gonna be the guy who is gonna be on the way of Cody. And maybe we're gonna have Cody versus The Rock before we have Roman versus The Rock. At this point, I'm just fantasy booking. We all know that Rock is not gonna face anyone except Roman and it's gonna be the only match, and probably it's gonna be his retirement match. So, I don't know why we're even talking about this. So, without any further ado, have a nice day, and I'm gonna see you tomorrow for NXT, because I haven't covered NXT for a long time, I haven't covered AEW for a long time, there is a reason for not covering AEW for a long time, Maybe I'll cover World's End. Maybe I'll cover World's End. I don't know. Do you want me to cover World's End? Because I'm pretty sure that you don't want me to cover World's End. AW, Tony Khan, get your shit together. Peace.